In the OR, capnography can be a lifeline, but only if it's telling the truth. Listen to this recent case in the APSF newsletter. A 34-year-old patient undergoes spine surgery with general anesthesia. Initially, with moderate fresh gas flows, the initial CO2 reading was about 34 millimeters of mercury. An hour later, on low flow, the monitor only shows 8 millimeters of mercury for a CO2. Yet the patient's vital signs are stable. Something doesn't add up. The anesthesia professionals draw an arterial blood gas, and here are the results. The pH was 7.18, and the PaCO2 was 60 millimeters of mercury, severe hypercapnia. What happened? This case really happened, and it turns out that the sensor was a semi-quantitative CO2 sensor called the TG920P. It was designed for environments where there's no inspired CO2. This type of monitor doesn't take into account that CO2 may be inspired and not just expired in certain situations, such as in the anesthesia room. Some situations in which a patient might breathe in CO2 include an exhausted CO2 absorbent, a closed system, low flows, or a faulty valve. If a machine assumes the inspired CO2 is zero, then it will read falsely low. In this case, the authors exchanged their exhausted CO2 absorbent and increased their fresh gas flows with good effect. As is long tradition from the Anesthesia Patient Safety Foundation, we reached out to the manufacturer for their perspective. You can learn more in the article and remember that some sensors are not meant for rebreathing systems. Stay safe out there and take great care of your patients.